Gentlemen, ladies, none of the above, welcome back to the shop. Today, we are going to build our electronics project together. That's right, the Focus UFAC Hall. <laughs> AV. <laughs> Apologize, Sarah, kind of gauche of me to get titterpated by my own jokes, but simple minds and so forth. Happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving here in Canada. Of course, we have ours earlier on account of needing to cock our igloos early, you know, before winter sets in. And if you haven't seen this, this is the shop ruler that we're giving away. And also, well, I made 200 to give away. And then I appended that order in order to increase the quantity so that the people who are really interested in building it with us could build it with us. And I was blown away by how many uh, guys picked up, how many people are interested in building this with us. So, as you can see here, it's got some interesting features. It's got the bolt measurement, it's got gap width, it's also got uh, the shop, the ubiquitous measure, which is cunt hairs, and <laughs> it's also got the focus UFAC hole, what for resolving fine detail. Now, we, I have to show you how to put this together. Now, on your Etsy order, just as a FAQ, frequently asked question, the Etsy order is four to six weeks fulfillment from the time of your order. Now, the guys that ordered in the first big lull, it's going to be tight because I fucked up a couple times on the specs for this and they came back like this is the second iteration and it came back wrong again. I want to make sure it's a hundred, but you can see here the uh, magnet hole is far too close to the end and also the <laughs> contair scale is actually it's not actually copper it's missing the mask and everything so that's not right had to go back and forth a few times now the colliery of physic a phys immutable physical law is murphy's law of course what can go wrong will go wrong so i figured this project would take three weeks i doubled that to six weeks give myself lots of time for fuck ups and whatnot i i'm getting <laughs> we're getting close to that six weeks so I just want you guys to be aware, be in the loop, that if it takes a little bit longer for that initial one, it might take a little bit longer. If that pisses you off at all, not a problem. Go to Etsy and I will gladly refund and cancel your order for you. No questions asked, no worries, no, no beef at all. I completely understand. Uh, I take 100% responsibility. It was my fault. Well, it's my project, so it's my fuck up, even though, you know, it's the board house that, that messed up. The two other questions I get a lot, which I'm going to answer here. Uh, well, first is the shipping that we took care of. Other is the shipping. Will you ship to my country? I'll ship anywhere in the world. Not a problem. It's flat rate. The third, uh, where can I get mine or are there any left? Yes, there are a few left. The quantities are dwindling. So if you if and you want one, uh, you're going to have to pull the trigger here pretty quick. Okay, to assemble this, if you got a soldering iron, just pull it out and solder the parts on. No big deal. None of these components are particularly sensitive. So, you know, as long as you don't melt it half right in two, you're going to be fine. But some guys don't have soldering irons. So here's what you're going to do. So this is the solder, also known as solder. And go into your wife's paint booth and get yourself some eye hair pluckers. I keep these in my toolbox actually for removing splinters and then we ch just put a little chunk of solder on each one of the exposed pads. So we've got the exposed pads now populated with a chunk or three of solder and we stick our components over top and of course they're friggin magnetized not the components mine but the, the Jesus eye hair pluckers. Then you go ahead and reposition all the solder once again for the second time. And the good thing about solder is it's got high, such high surface tension that it, even if it's overhanging, it pulls itself onto the pad. One thing I didn't mention and I didn't do is clean the Cheeto dust off the pads if you can. Every little bit helps, you know. And you'll notice that the pads for the battery tab are way bigger than the battery tab itself. This is not for no reason. This is so it adheres to the FR4, the, the PCB board, <laughs> much, much better. So there's more meat there, there's more contact area. Okay, here's the tricky part. 
This is the LED. We got the LED in bottom side topwise. There is a T on that. Oh, son of a diddly. So you see the marking there, the green marking? There's a T. There's a short, horizon, uh, short vertical line and a uh, longer horizontal line. So that longer horizontal line you want facing this way. So the, the short little nub of green there, the tail of green, you want it towards the battery. If you get this wrong, the thing's not going to work. There's two pads here, and on one pad there's a little speck of green that goes towards the battery. Now, being hung over, uh, that's the most onerous part is the sorting the fly shit from the pepper. Well, you got Parkinson's as well. <laughs> what you're going to have to do is reposition everything so it's nice and squaw. And then, double check. And as long as we're happy, happy, what we can go and do is we start to heat this plate up. Now, I'm going to use the MAP fuel, but uh, you could use propane or you could even use a, just a, a fry pan. And all you're doing is waiting for that, that solder to melt and then you're golden. That's it. I don't put direct heat right underneath. I sort of heat up the whole thing. There we see. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. It's, it's working. It works. Okay, that's it. Now, you're going to want to pick it up right away. Don't, because the thing is still hot and all your parts will slide off. Okay, while it's still warm, do a quick inspection. And we can see here, we got one faulty solder joint, and this side is flapping in the breeze. So, it looks like it's flapping in the breeze. So, we'll put another chunk, while it's still warm, we'll, we'll stick another chunk of solder on there. You can see it's still warm enough to melt the rosin flux out. And we'll just hit her again. Okay, I see a problem, but uh, it's okay because I did it by purpose. What for? What for showing you what to do if you mess up? So if okay, it's solidified, so we have to heat it up again. It's the wrong way round, so the battery will be sticking out. It's see there, it's offset a little bit, so I got to take this and turn it around. The battery tab's got to be toined. This is what's known in the trade as rework. Completely normal. Now that all the hot work's done, you go ahead and glue in the Neo Diddly magnet. I don't have mine yet, and I don't have any of the fit, so you'll just have to imagine it's there. And we put in the 2023-2025 uh, cell. Jean Guy's your uncle. And thank you very much to everybody that uh, wanted to build this with me, and I appreciate you sharing a laugh in the shop with me. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your dick in advice.